Let's start with a story that continues her collaboration with KC Studio Magazine. Sia Aramajani might not be a name you immediately recognize, but he is an internationally known sculptor born in Iran, based in Minneapolis. A new exhibition of his works that focuses on bridges is now underway at the Kemper Museum of Contemporary Art. It's the kind of exhibition that prods, provokes, and inspires dialogue about what's in front of us and what's behind. It's opening night for an exhibition at Kansas City's Kemper Museum of Contemporary Art. As a team here at the museum, we're thrilled. The show came out beautifully, and it really showcases his bridges in a lot of ways. It's the first exhibition dedicated to five decades of bridge sculptures by Iranian-born artist Sia Armajani. We're able to see his bridge work, not in chronology, but in our own way. Sia offers up to us these experiences to have on our own. The success of the evening is down to a lot of careful preparation. There's no walls in the space, which is unique to what we've been doing here at the museum. We've also redone the floors. We've got rid of a lot of the baseboards, which created this added framing to some of the works and how they were displayed. I'm delighted about this show, even before any of the work has been brought into this space, because I think that this is a, it's a nice palette to work with. It's clean, it's clear. The exhibit will comprise 30 pieces of Armajani's work. Today, three of the large-scale drawings are being delivered. The work is traveling to the museum from near and far, and it's all handled with enormous care. The usual part of moving work, you just don't want to move it around too much. It's the best way. <laughs> around 16 years ago, Armajani visited Kansas City to prepare for a commission from the Sosland Publishing Company, which is based here. He was inspired by our bridges. One is a gift from the Sosland Family Foundation to the Kemper Museum. That's our signature piece and kind of really the impetus for this show. I'm really excited to have these here because from a distance, you can certainly see the architectonic nature of everything, but up close, it's so delicate and precise. At the end of last year, Erin paid a visit to Armajani at his studio in Minneapolis. You know, I read a little bit about what Armajani wrote about bridges too, and he always kind of said a bridge is a table. And one of the first things that we did together at his studio was we sat across from each other at a table. He was actually activating a bridge space just between the two of us in conversation at the table. I simply asked him, have you ever had an exhibition before that's been dedicated primarily to your bridges? And he said, no, that's why you're here. <laughs> and I didn't even, you know, it's like I didn't even know, I mean, I knew why I was there and I was planning an exhibition, but at that moment, he knew why I was there before I did. And then I realized the bridge was more than just the kind of structure of the bridge that we know today. And it all is tied up into this experience that he wants you to have, which is like learning more about yourself and about the person on the other side of the bridge the person you're sharing the bridge with. Some of Armajani's sculptures start to arrive. I'm into my third year here at the Kemper Museum, and I love it. I'm still learning things. I have this freedom to work in this space that's just an incredible exhibition space that we can transform each time we do a show. Erin has a plan for how she'd like the art to be displayed. But first of all, she'll need to check how the pieces, once unpacked, work together. <laughs> I guess my philosophy in terms of exhibitions is like have it all there and know know how many works and all these things but like know that it's not a it's not a full commitment just yet <laughs> in terms of where where things go. And she started to think about the bridge as a concept. There's something significant there that I need to explore not only with this show and with the collection with the programs that we do here but now and going forward. Erin would like the museum to connect better with the communities around it, including the Ivanhoe neighborhood to the east. But she's discovered that some residents face logistical problems. One of the barriers that prevents people from coming to the museum is transportation. Um, you know, your location in the city is not accessible by bus transportation or public transportation or anything like that. Um, it can be very difficult to get here. 
some evenings were open later so that people who are working various shifts are still able to come here. But then also, right now we do have a busing program for schools across the KC metro area. We want to grow that program even more out into different parts in the community. And so this is an exhibition that got me thinking about that even more. Armajani has written, what is before the bridge, after the bridge, and below the bridge brings them together and makes them one neighborhood. A bridge is part of the public landscape. It's opening night, and Sir Armajani's exhibition has drawn an appreciative crowd. My reaction walking into this exhibition is how the whole gallery space has been opened up and activated by Armajani's work. The bridges are poetic and sculptural and very physically present as objects, but also as images that I think really inspire the imagination. It's talking about communication, bridging the gap between two people, maybe that don't necessarily have a lot to say to each other very often. And then he also brings in that Persian poet. There's something out of right field that just turns your head and it's like, where'd that come from? Seer Armajani is here with his wife, Barbara. At the last minute, he decided that he wanted to come and enjoy the exhibition with everyone else when it, when it first opened. So as you can imagine, I, I was a little bit nervous about that. It's always, it's always nice to do a walkthrough with the artist beforehand. Armajani was very pleased with the exhibition, but declined to give an interview. He said he wanted his work to speak for itself. It's nice when an artist doesn't give too much away and allows you to have your own experiences, and I think that that's what Sia gives to us. Perhaps the exhibition will prompt us to think about the bridges we already have in our city and those that still need to be built. The bridge has taken on a whole new shape for me. It's not a place that necessarily moves you over water anymore or over a highway or anything like that. It's much more than that. Bridge Builder will be running at the camper through January 22nd. Along the way, Aaron Jedjik has programmed a number of exhibition-related events. Including a screening of Michael Price's documentary, Our Divided City, followed by a discussion on October 7th.